Hi, uh, my name is uh, Dr. Benjamin. I'm a consultant physician um, from South Point Surgeon Hospital in the United Kingdom. Um, uh, we are reporting on a very important aspect of warfarin therapy. Um, this aspect we think has not been explored thoroughly in the past. Uh, we all know warfarin as a potent and effective uh, anticoagulant. It works uh, via inhibiting the vitamin K dependent factors. But we also know that it inhibits uh, protein S and C in the blood. These two factors uh, are responsible uh, for keeping the blood thin. And therefore, when warfarin inhibit these two uh, proteins, uh, there is an increase in the coagulability of the blood, especially at the initiation of warfarin therapy. There is of course a potential risk that warfarin therefore could produce an increased risk of clot formation um, such as DVT and pulmonary embolism. But in our daily practice we do not see that clinical consequence because of the fact that we use heparin um, to cover the initial stages of warfarin therapy. In the recent years, however, there are advocates for the use of unopposed warfarin therapy, which means they advocate the use of warfarin as monotherapy, albeit in a small doses. Uh, that's what we call the slow start regimen, often used uh, for non-valvular atrial fibrillation to prevent ischemic stroke. The anti-coagulant effect would start and be achieved between one to four weeks after the initiation of the small dose of warfarin. Many clinicians, however, might uh, be tempted to use larger doses of warfarin uh, as monotherapy and by doing so uh, the risk of the hypercoagulable state might translate into uh, a clinical consequence and more and more cases of DVTs and pulmonary embolism could be appreciated uh, with the start of warfarin uh, therapy. Since uh, we are using warfarin here without uh, the addition of heparin. We are uh, using this case report and we uh, have given it the term warfarin induced DVT um, in order to highlight the consequence of using um, the unopposed warfarin in clinical practice and the need to adhere to the low uh, dose of warfarin as advocated uh, by the protocol of these drugs. I'm hoping that uh, a clinician will become more aware and alert and try to identify these cases uh, um, as we expect there will be higher prevalence of DVT associated or even pulmonary embolism associated warfarin therapy. I hope uh, that in the future and uh, when more cases being reported, the syndrome could be uh, known as uh, the Benjamin syndrome, uh, me being the first uh, person who reported uh, this case um, since um, the wider use of a uh, slow start regimen uh, becomes uh, prevalent. Thank you very much.